chilling dash camera audio capturing the moment a St. Louis police officer is critically injured in a deadly shootout in Ferguson. Last January, St. Louis City police officer Colin Ledbetter and his partner were both shot in the line of duty, rushed to Barnes Jewish Hospital. Ledbetter's injuries were significant, but thanks to his medical team and a whole lot of blood, tonight he is alive. His survival serving as a reminder that donating blood does save lives. News 4 Shoshana Stahl spoke with Ledbetter as he donated today for the first time since he was shot. Donating blood does save lives. Um, I'm a product of that. On January 26, 2022, SLMPD officer Colin Ledbetter was shot in the line of duty. While recovering at the hospital, he needed 39 units of blood. That's more than three times the amount someone has in their body. I'm feeling great. Um, obviously, I'm not back to 100%. Um, probably going to be looking at a medical retirement from the department um, in the near future. Um, so, Obviously, I'm trying to find different ways to uh, give back to the community now because uh, that's still my passion. Ledbetter is hoping to save lives by donating blood the same way others helped save his life. He's now one step closer, getting the approval from his doctors to donate for the first time since he was shot. Full circle um, kind of makes me wonder where my blood's going to end up or if it's going to be in the same uh, kind of situation where it saves someone else's life. The Red Cross called this donation drive a community call to action. Ledbetter was the inspiration behind it. We as a community many times call our first responders. Now it's they're calling us to action. They're calling us to roll up our sleeves to give because we know that thousands of them are injured in the line of duty and many need blood. As for what's next for Ledbetter after he retires from SLMPD, it's still unclear but he knows serving his community will always be a top priority. Honestly, it's it's kind of an exciting point right now. I get to be a 20 year old again, trying to decide what I'm gonna do with my life. And after today, he only has 38 more units of blood left to donate, planning to repay what he needed to survive. Reporting in St. Louis, Shoshana Stahl, News 4. What an inspiration there, and more than 70 other people donated blood today during that community call to action event. Plan